So to do a problem like this, ladies and gentlemen, all we're simply going to do is, again, um, in my case, first step is I always like to group the first two terms. Been doing it every single time. That's all I do the first step. So get yourself used to grouping the first two terms. Then, as I mentioned, in number 27 and 25, you need to do step two, which is factoring out. So a is equal to 1. However, in this case, a is equal to 1, right? Yes? So I don't need to factor out any number. So that's nice. Next step, step three, is take b divided by 2 and square it, which in this case is going to be 3 divided by 2 and square it. Please, guys, do not convert to um, decimals. I know a lot of you guys hate fractions, so you just refuse to use them and you rather use decimals. But please keep them as fractions, 9 over 4. So therefore, I now have x squared plus 3x. Now remember, we find the value of b that completes the square. We add that inside our parentheses, 9 over 4. And then we subtract it outside of our parentheses. Does everybody follow me? OK. Now remember, though, we cannot, mul we cannot take a whole number and subtract it from a fraction unless they have the same denominator. Yes? So we need to subtract these, meaning we need to get common denominators. So what I'll do is I'll rewrite my whole number as a fraction. And I'll say, all right, so to get these the same denominator, they have to have the same common denominator, which would be 4. So that means, means I need to multiply this by 4 over 4. Correct? Then this factor down, again, remember, is x plus b divided by 2 squared. What was my b divided by 2? 3 halves, right? So therefore, this goes to x plus 3 halves squared plus 6 times 4 is 24 over 4 minus 9 over 4 equals 0. 24 um, minus 9 is going to be uh, 20, 24 fourths minus 9 fourths is going to be? Oh. Yep. Say that one more time. Well, this one already has a denominator of 4. So we're going to leave it like that. Um, oh, I guess these problems had ones where they don't have to. So anyway, so when you simplify this, you have x plus 3 halves squared equal r plus 15 over 4 equals 0. Now we just need to solve for x. So we're going to subtract a 15 over 4. And you guys get a little glimpse of um, what we're going to be learning next. Does everybody see what I did there? Now we just need to undo the square root, undo squaring. So I take the square root, and I get x plus 3 halves equals the square root of negative 15 over 4. You cannot take the square root of a negative number, but I will get to we haven't learned this yet, so just leaving your answer um, like this will be work. Remember, though, when I introduce the square root, ladies and gentlemen, make sure you include plus or minus. And then you subtract 3 halves. So your final answer should be x equals negative, x equals negative 3 halves plus or minus the square root of negative 15 over 4. Now, technically, that is there's no real solutions to this. Um, we have not learned about complex numbers, which we'll get into next. So even though this is not the simplified form right now, um, once you guys learn how to do the simplified form, you'll learn what to do yet. But I actually haven't taught this yet. So this isn't a worksheet from your book. So they actually went a little bit ahead. But if you guys just left your answer right now for this, that's perfectly fine. Obviously, once I teach my next lesson, you'll see what to do to go from there. Okay.